Sai. I'm a junior and tonight I'm going to the Eucharistic procession. The first time I went to the Eucharistic procession was my freshman year and I kind of went because everyone else was going. I didn't exactly know what a Eucharistic procession was. It wasn't really a practicing Catholic so I was kind of just sitting there. Everyone else was praying so I got on my knees just trying to look like I knew what I was doing. I was like, wow, this is actually kind of beautiful. I was reflecting back to high school and middle school and just how I lived my life previously. And I just had this feeling of like guilt and remorse come in and I was just like, man, this is not how I should be living my life. So I pick my stuff up and I kind of just run back over to the now St. John Bosco Center. I pop in at 1 a.m. and I asked the priest if he was available for a confession. And he said, friend, come right in. And I sat there and I just cried my eyes out and opened my heart. That night I was able to receive Jesus' mercy and I decided that's it. I'm gonna be a practicing Catholic. I'm gonna start going to church. I'm gonna learn how to pray. Like overall, I just feel like a lot happier with my life. I have a purpose. It definitely has a really um, positive impact, um, which I was surprised because it's kind of a controversial thing to bring to a campus. I see students I've, I've never seen before kneeling, so they understand, which is really amazing. It's a really good conversation starter with just people around campus. I think because Bishop Burbage is here, it just makes us all realize that this is a lot bigger than just our campus. It's the Catholic Church from Arlington Diocese, so we're not alone on this campus. We have like the entire diocese and actually the whole Catholic Church to support us. Being with a bunch of people who are my age and going through the same struggles, seeing their joy for God while being young has helped me in my faith. God reached out to me. I didn't have a relationship with him. I wasn't happy at the time. And now that he's given that to me and I've filled myself with his love, I'm now at the point where I'm able to start giving it back to people. There is a God. He loves you and it doesn't matter where you are because he still wants you.